Hello and welcome to another Daddy James Films computer tutorial. <laughs> okay, uh, I did a tutorial on this before. And it's a program called Eraser. And what does Eraser do is whenever you want to delete a file and uh, you want to delete it to the point where no simple recovery software can recover it, uh, you need this program. Uh, basically what it does, it just uh, overwrites it over and over and over and to the point where you know you wouldn't be able to get uh, nobody wouldn't be able to uh, get this file this is a good program i've been using it for years i still use it today uh, it you can use it on xp vista or windows 7. so uh what you would do is go to google and type in eraser uh e-r-a-s-e-r -E now <clears throat> you can download it from the their main website but it's kind of confusing so the best thing to do is go ahead and go down to download.com but don't get confused by the movie eraser. Just go on down to you see download.com right here. Or download cnet.com. And then you just click on it there. It'll take you to the download page. And from there you just need to download. Okay. Um, when I go to download this. Uh, on some of the uh, users uh, ratings. It, some of them say it don't work very good. But I've used this for years and it's worked great. Um, the older one. Everybody seems to think it was better. I kind of agree with them. I think the older version was better. But uh, this one works just as well, too. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. And I'll save it to the desktop. Now, it might look a little uh, funny. It's kind of like a box with a red symbol on it. But uh, don't worry. It's, it's a good program. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and install that. From here, we're going to click Next. Accept. Next. Uh, we're going to do the typical one. Install. I'm going to go ahead and pause this while it's installing. Okay, when it's finished, you just click on Finish. I already have this program installed, so uh, I just uh, briefly took to you through some of it. If it has any problems or anything like that, it'll let you know, or if you need to install another program, uh, uh, it'll let you know what you need to install. The same thing goes for XP. Now, basically, uh, after you install that, um, you should have this right here to pop up. And basically, if you want to find something that you want to delete, uh, let's just take something and throw it in there. And it'll automatically delete it. Just click and drag in there, and it'll erase it for you. You can also have an erase schedule. Just, you know, check that out and see what it is. And you also have the settings here. Uh, <coughs> the, the settings on it's English. And then uh, default file insurance method, 35, pass, uh, 35 passes. That means it's erasing like 35 times over and over and over. They got the USDOT uh, uh, erasing, um, if you want to use the USDOT method on here. Or basically the US Department of Defense is what it means. And they have a few other ones on here. I don't really like to use the US Department of Defense uh, method. And they got the default unused space uh, insured method. Uh, randomness data source. Uh, force lock files to be unlocked for insured and uh, replace files with the following files to allow um, identity uh, deniability. Anyhow, uh, after you're done making your choices, you can hit save. Okay, well, uh, another thing good about Eraser, what it does is that you can right click on a recycling bin, and then if you go down to Eraser and then go over to Erase, it'll erase everything that's in the recycling bin. As you can see down here on the taskbar, it's working. And when it's finished erasing it, it'll let you know, which was pretty quick because I didn't have that much in there. But anyhow, anything that was in the recycling bin has been totally erased and no recovery software can get it. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Comment, rate, subscribe, thank you, and have a nice day.